All right, today I got this X rocker chair, which I picked up for about a tenner. It was said that it um, the electrics don't work, but now I come to realize that just means that there was no plug. At least I think. I don't know. Um, it has got a fair bit of damage. It's got a lot of cat scratches. Excuse the mess. It's a uh, shed, cross, dark room, cross, workshop, cross, gym, and anyway, it does work. Sort of, and I think all that's actually wrong with it is just a dodgy connector. There you go. It does work. Oh, there we go. Hold it in just the right place, everything seems to work. Bluetooth works, USB works. Slow, but USB works. And everything seems fine, so it's a bit of a boring fix, but do it anyway. Oh, there's a lot more internals than I thought there was going to be. But uh, now it's got to work out. What was it? The power plug. Which is right in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's going to be annoying. Let's take the entire... I, mean, I need to take these wires off, but I will forget which one goes where. Because they, they're all identical. Does it matter? Probably does. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna have to take the ball down. Oh, I wonder if I just do it from here. Oh, okay, I see. They've, um. It looks like someone's already had a go at soldering it. I was gonna say it looked like the screws had already been, like, scuffed up. So it's possible. Yeah, big blob there, but nothing on that one. Which I'm guessing doesn't matter. No, it's just joint anyway, but I mean for support, probably a good idea to put that on there. Um, it's going to be easier to get this board out, I think. Yeah, all right, I'll try and get that done. Which means taking out these screws, that one, and that one, and then pulling that back off, and then um, yeah, that should be fine then. I think that's fine. I'm going to take these wires off and I guess label them, maybe? Possibly with permanent marker? Or something? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright. Alright, we're back. As you can see, probably, possibly. Uh, got two horizontal lines here. One black with a black bit there, and then one straight line there. And on the wires I've done, on this one there's a black line. On the connector here there's just a black smudge. And this one, there's two horizontal lines across. Other than that, the rest are easy enough. I don't want to come off then. Just have a look at these capacitors. It's just hot glue. Yeah, it's just hot glue. Just seeing if there's there's the there's the antenna for the Bluetooth, I assume. <laughs> yeah, if it works, it works. <sighs> Bit dusty. But I mean, the capacitors look right. I think. But at least it's easy enough to get the board out, and that controls everything apparently. So that's handy. A quick test. None of these uh, dials are. Rustler making that horrible scratchy noise, so I'm not worried about that. Right, let's get to let's get to this, shall we? Right. Um, let's try and reflow that a minute. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I see. Pad's gone. Get the manual solder sucker for one thing. Yeah, the pad's gone there as well. Okay. So, oop, ooh. Trying to use the viewfinder and it's very difficult. Yeah, that's gone. 
That pile is completely gone. What the hell happened here? I don't know how strong it's going to be if I just run jumpers. I mean, it should be alright. Or, I'll just scratch off around it. And then create a very big blob. Let's try that. Let's try and make sure my head's not in the shot here. Okay, that copper is incredibly thin. I've just gone straight through it. Unless it was missing beforehand, but I've just gone through it now. I wasn't scratching that hard. All right, jump where it is then. I just jump at these two together. Although I would like some more support on that. I don't know if I'm going to get the support though. I can put some hot glue in there, but I don't think that's going to work very well either. Um, the problem is it's all very... Sorry, just worried you can't see anything. It's very compact in there. I'll take the front off, I suppose. Just a few screws, I think. Is hot glue going to hold it very well? I don't know. Let's try and take the front off and see, see what we end up with. There's nuts on all of these, which is really annoying. Just squeeze some hot glue down in there because I don't want to take off all these nuts just to get off it. I've got to take this off without damaging it, and I don't think I don't think I'm the best for the job for that, to be honest. Yeah, there we go. That's that. He's needing those pliers, I think. Get this front board off. Yeah, alright, I'll go and get my needle in this pliers. The one tool I don't keep in the shed. Oh! Oh, no! He launched that into orbit. And for the power button. That just pop off? Or does that go all the way through? No, it goes all the way through. Okay, that, that's fine. Oh, it's on a, what is that called, a satellite board? Something, that's why it's so wobbly, I thought it was broken as well. Actually, I could have just unplugged this one. Or from there, never mind. I'll leave that there, we don't need to get to it anyway. Right. So solder wise, I'm just thinking, um, I might not connect it from here actually, I might connect it from over there. I'll zoom in later on the video. I was gonna use some really thick solid core cable for more support, but then I figured that's more likely to break because it can't bend, so I presume. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to solder it over here somewhere rather than directly to this pad. Just because then if this one breaks, it's still connected. Hopefully. <sighs> it's 
extend the pads on these ones too. I don't know, should I? A little bit of hot glue, hopefully it'll be okay. Nice thick blob of it on there. Nice. Chop this wire up. Fresh solder here. So I'll redo this joint as well, just in case. Nice, nice, nice. My finger! Jeez, these things are sharp. Anyway, moving on. There we go, that's that one. It's awkward to hold still sometimes. There we go. It's not a beautiful job, but hopefully it will do. Let's get the hot glue gun going. Right. Let's try and... Oh, wow. What happens to solder on that side? Has it gone all the way through the board? I assume so. Let's take a chunk of that off. We don't need that much on there. Don't need it on that side at all, actually. No, don't go on there. It's just still connected this side. Jumping across? Nope. Nice. I wouldn't bother with solder mask, I don't really see if there's much point in doing that. Not weird. Well, maybe between these two points. Just in case I've got a little hot glue gun going and now it's dribbling everywhere. Still sol uh, solder there, but it's going to squirt a whole load in there. Whole load over there. Wrap it around it so it's got somewhere to go. And support the back, I guess. I'm just going to make a mess of this just so it holds it in place. Hopefully. There we go. Let's get a little bit of solder mask down on this.
probably too much, but it is what it is. Just to make sure that there's never any bridge between these two. I don't know why there would be, but better safe than sorry. Actually, I'll do some there as well. Why not? Ah, do the whole thing. I'm, I'm here anyway. Wasn't it Stestic Fix that used a brush? Well, that was a brilliant idea. I don't have a brush for it though. Not like ruining one of my other brushes, but that's a really genius idea. Because it ends up too thick otherwise, right? And then it, um, it seems to set on top, but not underneath, which is really annoying. I could get a brush and steal that idea. Tooth board. There's not white. There's no Wi-Fi or anything, so it's, I think that's Bluetooth. So what's that? And why is there an aerial? I really haven't got a clue. I not a clue. Right. Let's get that. And it's something I learned from Vince's channel. Was heat and UV light. Low heat will help it set quicker and better, which is ideal because I'm very impatient. Right, that's gonna have to do. Yeah, it's still a little bit wet, but I'm, I, I, it doesn't matter, right? Probably, it's probably fine. As long as it's in there, right. I'm probably wrong, but as I said, I'm very impatient. I thought I might have had too much hot glue on there. Well, you can see. For this to sit on top, so I'm going to have to melt that down a bit just to... Or, can I just squash it down? Because then that will provide more support. Now it's still slightly soft, so... Squash that down. Stick that on top. It should provide even more... Support. Pushing up on this board. I think it should sit in more than that. Let's just melt it down a little bit. Ooh, that's a bit too wet. Okay. It's fine. It's now just stuck to it instead. It's a great time for construction outside. Alright, this camera angle is pants, but as you can see, okay, this one's going to go in. That's fine. I will put some new hot glue on. That one goes there. And there you go, you've got the two little, you probably can't see, it's a bit dark. Two little dashes there anyway, to co coincide with that one. That one's got a mark on that. It's in. And that one's got the line on the wire. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on that. Let's get rid of this. Stick you back in there. Oh wait, I didn't put the outside bracket on. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta do the wires. Ah. And just launched a screw at my own head. Yeah, I've gotta get this on 
and it goes the wires. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, there's no way around that. I'm gonna have to take these all off again. Oh, come on, and I've just done a really good job of hot gluing it. Won't pull it all off. It's a bit of a mess, but not that you can really see, but it's a little bit of a mess. But if it works, it works. Alright, there we go. It's now back on there. Plug it in. I do have a um, power adapter hopefully coming today. Let's switch on the power supply. Now I should just... There we go. Jobs are good. Yeah, I do have a hopefully a power supply coming today. Uh, if you're wondering, it's 9 volts, 2 amps. All I have is 5 volts and 12 volts. No, 9 volts. I don't know what how strict it is but I don't want to blow it up. Well, like a bit of a boring fix but hey ho. For a tenner, as I say, you see all the scratches here and all over the back. I don't know why, it's just, I think this was just a cat's chair at some point. You know, I need to give it a clean but I feel like wiping and hoovering a chair might just be too much excitement for a very 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 simple boring video. I'll just show that it does in fact work. Right, now apparently, there we go. There works. Speaker there works. And so does the subby. Not that you can hear it, but it is on. Just not much space right now. Anyway, it does work. Anyway, that's that. Cheers for watching.